Hello everyone, welcome to Laravel 10 series in which we are creating the e-commerce website. And in this video, I am going to tell you the steps that you can take to download the e-commerce website source code from part 1 to 100. Okay, so right now I am going to tell you briefly about the things about the features that you are going to get in this Laravel 10 e-commerce website source code. Later on, we are going to download this and I'm going to show you practically all these features. Okay, so see briefly, I'm going to tell you that uh, you will get the basic admin panel, basic full featured admin panel that will have these features uh, that will have the admin management in which the admin can able to update his details as well as the password. Admin can able to add the sub admins and can create the roles and permissions for them. Okay, so after that, we have done the catalog management as well, in which uh, we have done the current functionality for the categories, brands, as well as the products. So we have done that CRUD functionality. Uh, CRUD is the create, read, update, and delete. Okay, so we have done the add, edit, and delete functionality for the categories, brands, as well as the products. Okay, so after that, we have done the pages management as well and the CRUD functionality for the CMS pages as well. And after that, uh, finally, we have done the banners management, uh, banners CRUD functionality in which we can able to add, edit and delete the banners as well. Okay, so uh, see the orders management and, uh, and the payment management will come only once the order placement process will complete. So we have started working on the front end as well, in which we have done the home page as well as the listing page. In home page, we have done the categories navigation menu, menu okay. So uh, slider fix banners, and uh, we have done the new rivals, bestseller, discounter, and feature products as well. We able to show all these things at the home page, e-commerce website home page. I'm going to show you all, so don't worry. I'm going to show you all that how to download the e-commerce website and how to uh, how to make them run in your browser okay so after that we have done the listing page as well okay in which we have done the products listing we are able to show the products of the uh, of the uh, some specific uh, category and after that we have done the pagination for those products and after that we have done the product sorting as well as the products filters for product sorting, we have done uh, like uh, sort by price, like sort by lowest or highest price and sort by uh, feature products, like uh, sort by feature products or discounter products, bestseller or new rival products. Okay, so this comes in the product sorting and in products filters, we have added the filters like uh, uh, sort by color, uh, sort by sizes uh, and sort by fabric pattern fit okay all these kind of filters comes in the product filters and many more filters are there okay so uh, so uh, for download this e-commerce website uh, from part 1 to 100 see all these things will come up till 100 videos so these 100 videos you can download just you are required to open this website sidemakers.in website here you can click on download link and here you can see uh, download advanced e-commerce website in Laravel 10 part 1 to 100. Okay, you can close this one and you can click on login to download and here you can see the various payment methods. You need to pay small amount to download this source code. Okay, so uh, there are various payment methods. You can pay with the YouTube that is the part of the Google and you can pay with the PayPal as well. You can pay with the debit or your credit card. You can pay with the Paytm as well if you have if you are from India. But the better option is to pay with the YouTube. Okay, so uh, so see here. You can also open my channel youtubecom stack developers. Okay, after opening the channel, uh, you can simply click on join and and can uh, can purchase the membership of your own choice. Okay, you can simply click on join here. Okay. Uh, once you will click on join you can see the various membership option will come up here and i will recommend the advanced tech developer option okay so advanced tech developer option you can uh, you just uh, require to uh, take the advanced membership to download the complete laravel 10 e-commerce website source code okay uh, that you will get from time to time okay right now you will get the from uh, first 100 videos you will get okay so now once you will get this one i will email you okay i will email you the credentials to log in here okay once you will get the credentials you can simply log in here 
and you can click on download and you can simply click here to download so that you can able to download these 100 videos that we are going to play right now i'm going to tell you that how you can able to download okay so see the download is working right now you can see it will just take few seconds it's not that much heavy okay so you just you wait for few seconds see i'm i'm downloading in my mac operating system if you are windows steps will remain the same so don't worry okay so i will go here and we'll check here in downloads and you can see the folder has been created so i can simply copy this folder and zap sd docs and uh, here i'm going to paste it here okay so that i'm going to unzip it here only uh, so that i can run it and i can show you that how you can able to run this uh, part 100 video source code okay so uh, just i'm going to unzip it here okay so after this just it will take few seconds and see it has been done and you can see the folder is ready you can uh, like uh, i'm going to make uh, it rename it like uh, project uh, project 100 i'm going to make it project 100 okay so i'm going to uh, see uh, you will go inside the folder and you will see one another sql file here okay so this one you need to import this one uh, first of all see i'm going to open this file i'm going to show you that uh, you can open this file in sublime as well or in any of the uh, editor that you are having so i'm going to open my sublime here see okay so i am having the visio studio code as well i can open it here as well here you can see the laravel 10 database project 10 database in fact okay so you can create this database project 10 database you just require to open the database here okay Op open the php my admin in fact okay just open the php my admin and uh, and just create the database with this name uh, that is the project 10 okay so see it's already there so i'm going to create the project 100 so i'm going to create this project 100 here so once you have created i'm going to import this one uh, this complete project 10 sql file i'm going to import this one so this is located in my xamp sd docs and this uh, project 100 and here is the file and i'm going to import this file in my php my admin so that to create the database of these 100 videos so it has been done you can see so finally i am going to open this sublime okay sublime is faster uh, so i'm going to open the sublime so i am going to add my folder in sublime so that i can update the env file here I will just bring it here and will open the env file and here i am going to make it project 100 as we have renamed it to project 100 okay so finally we are ready to run our project uh, so i am going to right click here okay services new terminate folder and uh, then uh, we'll run php artisan serve if you are in windows you know how to run the artisan command you in windows you need to go inside the folder and if you have git bash installed then you can simply right click and git bash here or you can simply run in command prompt you must know if you don't know that how to run the artisan command then please uh, follow my videos from the scratch okay from part one okay so uh, so once you will run the php artisan serve command the project must run okay no need to run the migration command nothing you just you uh, you are required to download the folder you are required to unzip the folder and after that you just required to put it in sd docs folder okay so after putting in sd docs you just required to create the database and match the database in dot env file okay these are the simple steps that you are required to take after this your project will run and i'm going to show you that what we have done so far okay see the project is finally running you can see this is our home page okay home page of our e-commerce website you can see uh, these categories as well okay and i'm going to open the admin panel as well i'm going to show you the admin panel as well okay so you can simply open the admin panel uh, slash admin slash login and here 
the username is admin at the rate of admin.com and password is one two three four five six and here you can see the remember me functionality as well that we have done with our admin panel and we have used the admin lte okay one of the best template of the uh, one of the best admin template that we have used with our laravel 10 e-commerce website and you can sign in and after sign in you can see the admin layout here okay that we have done see here you can see the basic things like categories brands products users basic e-commerce concepts okay basic e-commerce features that you can able to see okay so the admin can able to manage uh, his password he can able to update the password his details and can create the sub admins roles and and permissions here from here he can set the roles and permissions for the sub admins okay uh, uh, see view view edit and lead assess that okay and he can create these sub admins as well and after that we have done the pages management we have done the crud operation for the pages and uh, for the cms pages you can create as many pages as you want and add cms feature okay and uh, from here you can able to add the cms pages and after that we have done the categories okay you can add the subcategories then sub subcategories three levels of categories you can able to add to show them here okay see there this is the first level this is the second level and this is the third level okay so you can able to add these categories from the admin panel you can able to edit and delete as well you can able to manage them instantly via ajax okay you can able to uh, able to disable or enable them via ajax without refreshing the page and the brands we have done brands module we have done every product is having some brand as well as the category okay so uh this products management this product uh the current functionality for the products also we have done and once you will add the product you can able to see all the filters options and other options attributes option will also come here okay filters also coming here okay uh, that we will manage dynamically later on and here uh, the admin can able to add the products but he needs to select the category okay and uh, uh, as well as he needs to select the brand for every product okay so after products we able to do this banners functionality as well uh, the admin can able to manage the banners from the admin panel as well so this one we have done in laravel 10 okay and after that we able to show these categories here in the top navigation bar you can see top uh, menu we can able to see here and after that these slider banners we able to do okay coming from the admin panel as well okay with the links title alt tag and these fixed banners also come from the ID panel. You can add as many fixed banners as you want. Okay. So after this, these new levels, best sellers, discounted. Okay. All these kind of products are coming from the ID panel as well. Okay. So we are managing these as well here at the home page. So after this, we able to do the listing page as well. Like once you will go to the any of the category like the t-shirt, you can able to see the products here with the pagination. Like so many pages are coming here. Okay. Uh, like uh, if you can go to the men and then again you can able to see the products here okay so uh, these products uh, we are managing from the edit panel and along with that you can able to see the sort by filter so many filters here latest item best uh, best seller best rating lowest price highest price featured discounted items okay so all you can able to sort here and you can able to sort by size as well as brand price color uh, fabric sleeve fit occasion pattern as well okay so like uh, if i will select the black color here then all the products that belong to the black color like black t-shirt uh, see there are no images so far uh, but it will come oh it will show the black t-shirts here okay so like this we able to show we able to create uh, all these features uh, see i'm going to show you like i'm going to update it straight away uh, to show you more products and I'm going to update the uh, listing function here I'm going to show uh, see all the products at once so that you can able to see all the products I uh, once again I'm going to the main category and then you can able to see the products with the color as well see we have added the colors for two of the products so far okay so you can able to see I'm going to uh, check now the red color so I want to see that the product having the red see red gap t-shirt red 
red casual t-shirt and red t-shirt are coming only the red products are coming right now okay so if i will select the blue as well then you can see the red as well as the blue t-shirts are coming so if i will unselect the red now and you can see the red color is gone okay so i'm going to sort it by like uh, price i want to show uh, the price uh, top highest price products at the front at the, at the first okay then i will click on highest price and you can see i able to sort it by the 1350 price product is coming uh, first then 450 450 so see we are doing all this via ajax without refreshing the page okay so this one we have done these all filters we able to do okay see like uh, we can able to sort the uh, products by the prices as well we will just want to see the products of zero to thousand price not greater than thousand see i'm going to select the price here and you can see only 450 product now the, with the price of 450 that uh, that 1350 uh, product uh, that uh, that is having the more than 1000 price is gone away okay now it is showing just two products okay so like this we are able to do these filters with the help of ajax functionality in a simple way so now in the next videos we are going to manage the detail page but if you want if you don't have much time and if you want to get the source code then you can always join as a member and get the source code so that you can match your code or you can simply run this project right now and can start following from the 101st video in which we are going to create the detail page okay so after that uh, the card page then checkout page one page checkout page then we are going to integrate the payment method as well with the cod as well and then we are going to manage the orders as well so see you will find it really easy uh, once you will uh, get these 100 videos source code okay with the complete support okay so uh, and if you have any query you can surely ask me so that's all for now uh, please subscribe my channel youtube.com stack developers and do join the channel to get the complete source code okay so once again i'm going to tell you that it's the youtube.com stack developers okay stack developers you can join as well as you can subscribe the channel to get the source code okay that's all for now have a nice time goodbye thank you